get the high res, high res going. Hold on. It's 5.59. Doesn't look like he sees a hair, but I don't see anything. All right, Glenn. Here we go, bud. <coughs> oh. It was a hot one yesterday. I can't remember what the temperature was, but it was hot. And uh, right now, 5.59. That's probably 6 o'clock now. But temperature was 57 when I woke up. It's nice, nice and chilly here. And uh, sunrise is at 4.56. So it's just 8.19. There was a little bit of a thunderstorm last night. Now we got two hairs over there. A little bit of a, a thunderstorm. Some nice claps of thunder and occasional lightning, but it wasn't bad. And, uh, Didn't do much yesterday. Took a nice ride in the ATV, went about 20 miles. Then we're going to check out the, uh, the grass at my brother Tom's place. And uh, on the way over, just uh, west of him, there was a, a doe and then a, a fawn followed her out, and a second fawn. I drove down to uh, see if I could see them, but they already vanished into the woods. Uh. We have to put the stalk on the uh, camera again. Peter went to Bangor yesterday with, uh, with Debbie, did some shopping. That's how I uh, got to go for a 20 mile ride in the ATV. She was going to be gone most of the day, so. Broke out this Grambler XP, 1000 cc's. Get down to Southern Sandy and Kevin's place to see there's nobody working. And uh, check out Tom's grass. And uh, drove all the way down to Route 6. Well, I came back on North Road and went down to Route 6. I had to go down to Tar Ridge. To uh, 169. I did not go that way. Nice ride. I was going to go down Forest Lane. That's uh, about three quarters of a mile off Route 6 on North Road. But uh, they had harvested trees there. And the road is uh, still a little bit muddy. I don't need to add to the mud on the ATV. Oh boy. That mosquito line up right here. A little, little privacy while he marks his territory. 
And uh, Mr. White showed up yesterday. He said he got here around 2.15. I had uh, gotten back from the ATV ride sometime around 12. Sat down and probably fell asleep on the couch. Welcome to North Bud. Come. Uh, Mr. White came over yesterday to borrow some strength from a strength trimmer. He's uh, trying to get his building complete and uh, got a bunch of grass all around this building, so you had to clear that before it started, I guess. Uh. The, uh, the fog has burned off a lot. It was a heavy, heavy fog this morning. Flynn woke me up at uh, 5.15 and uh, I contemplated going back to sleep but I saw it sort of light out. Flynn. Oh, See him liking purple flowers, but he seems to be hung up so on those things. We got a hair here, and a hair vehicle coming someplace. Make sure he took his uh, blade of grass with him. I think the black avalanche is coming. Oh, no, somebody in the other direction. Let me go to the other side. Come, buddy. Come, come, come. Easy. Easy. Stay, stay. Easy, easy, easy. I, uh, I try to wave, but unfortunately holding the leash. And uh, the camera I accidentally flipped, flipped the guy off. <laughs> oh man.
Lynn's taking care of business. That's pretty good. A quick cameo. You know, walk further north, but there's enough bugs. See, Jenny's got a garbage out, and the new one, his name is Matt Glidden. He's got a bunch of garbage out. Come on, buddy, let's go. It's just a garbage can. Come on. Glenn, come on. Glenn. In the house. No, in the house. Come. Come. Glenn. In the house. In the house. Glenn, in the house. He is uh, hung up on the garbage can. Glenn, come on. In the house. No. All right, that's better. <clears throat> Glenn, come on. Good boy. Uh, I think I've got to run to town today. I'm uh, down 10 gallons on the uh, tunnel for gas. Plus, I've got what today? Today's the uh, 13th, I think. What the, yeah, today's the 13th. I've got 15 days before my. IRACD matures at Matrias and rolls over. I have to get in the key bank and start the transfer. was a puppy you couldn't get him to go near a garbage bag or a garbage can now he wants to find out what it is thank <coughs> you In the house. Get over here. Come on. I don't know if he smells Kevin White's dog or what else. Oh, 
<clears throat> and here, put some garbage wood in the uh, bucket, and I had to put the ATV away, so I just uh, tied some uh, hay bale cordage to the rack on the back of the ATV and towed the garbage can up there. Two birds with one stone. <clears throat> Still waiting for my uh, uh, writing case, storage box, storage box, for the back of the ATV. I ordered it on the uh, second, so now it's 11 days, and there's no update. Place called Leader Leader RPM, and uh, they didn't stock yet. And they had orders from Polaris. I couldn't find a direct to Polaris. And I'm wondering if it's sold out. You need a box on your ATV to store your uh, your water, your ammunition, your lunch when you go out bird hunting. <clears throat> oh, I did buy some. Uh, uh, lumber, lumberman, lumberjack, tenon makers. Um, I figured let me try an American made product. So they're supposed to arrive on the 19th. So we'll see if we can do something with those. But that's going to wrap it up for today. <clears throat> I'm going to go and have his treats. Now I can go have my coffee. Thanks for watching.